if, if a joke bombs, I don't even consider it a joke bombing. I just think of it as a moment of silence for Libya and Japan. Win-win, <laughs> guys. If you like a joke, great. If you don't, you're thinking about those who need it more. a burp lady you have a demon inside of you that's trying to get out and listen Emily Rose as an adult you need to let that demon inside of you get out did you go to hell and swallow the devil's cum and now it's trying to come out of you so it can ruin the comedy show what the fuck is inside of your stomach are you like the hottest chick ever that hugs gasoline, like just huffs it and drinks it? I don't... Sorry doesn't cut whatever the fuck just happened to you. What was that? No, say it again. I want to know. Um, I didn't want my friend to pay for the bill. So you didn't want your friend to pay for the bill, so you went... that five years you spent faking being retarded like I remember how to do this yeah! Yeah! that always stopped people I want that guy to stop looking at my tits yeah! we'll talk after the show yeah! that was the weirdest come and never have I heard a noise that fucking peculiar in my life. So strange. Hey Bobby, that's what you do to those women. Oh, thank you. Not really. I never say the right thing to women. I have a sauna in my apartment and I was sitting in it with this gorgeous girl and she's just wearing a towel and she's trying to like flirt and she's like, what do you think the weirdest fetish is? And without missing a beat, I was like, probably to rape and murder a chick. <laughs> like that would be the weirdest one, wouldn't it? <laughs> I could have just said for us to have sex in that sauna. I didn't think of that. <laughs> but I said probably to rape <laughs> and murder a chick. And then I corrected myself. I was like, you know what? That's not the weirdest fetish. And I didn't stop there. I was like, you know, it'd be weirder to rape and murder a little boy. That'd be even weirder, wouldn't it? It would be. I'm just, just saying. Statistically. I, I caught my eight-year-old neighbor watching porn. Don't worry, it was child porn. Uh, but I had to discipline the kids, so I was like, get off my fucking computer, what are you doing? Right now. <laughs> Where were we? I, I blacked out after a girl burped and I just woke up here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> No idea, even where I am. I remember that I was reading this article on uh, the internet, and there is this couple. I don't know if you guys heard about them, but on 9/11 they were in New York, and then when the London train bombings happened, they were in London, and then when the shootings happened in Mumbai, India, they were there. And this article said that they were the unluckiest people ever. And I was like, no, they're not. Clearly, they're the organizers of three terrorist attacks. <laughs> Obviously, that's what's going on.